Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your support to this channel. Now, after Johnson Sakaja's administration, that is City Hall in Nairobi, had released some goons from the City Hall to go and storm the sectors of businesses in Nairobi CBD. And unfortunately, they took everything in Quick Mart, in Naivas, in any business sector during Gen Z demonstration with the name of accusing the young Kenyans who are demonstrating peacefully. The Nairobi community business people or group are now putting Bungay on a notice and thwarting Bungay. And Bungay is now panicking trembling and he have no answer to put on the board and i have a video clip indicating on how these people injected bungay's administration and told him enough is enough the old grandfather or old person sending the goons to steal any other property in Nairobi CBD or in other parts of the country during demonstration. That person is no longer having interest in developing our country. For the mother is saying that these are their children who are demonstrating and they believe that their children cannot take away their property. It means that there is someone in the government organizing goons and they must ask this person why is he interesting is interested, interested sorry on organizing goon to take or to steal not take to steal goods from any parts of the business administration and that is today, that's why today they have officially stormed Bungay's administration and demanding for answers. I think this is a great move and let's take a look and listen to them. <laughs> imeporwa kila kitu ikaenda hakuna polisi alitokea hakuna polisi alionekana but walionekana wakipiga risasi huko kusema ukweli bungei tunakuuliza tu swali moja is it that hao polisi wapo wanashirikiana na huyu mzee mwenye wa kutuma guns kitu ya pili tunauliza quick mart iliporwa hivyo hivyo tuku dawas hakuna polisi alionekana sisi tunasikia ya kwamba biashara zetu hazijapewa security na hazijalindwa mimi nataka nikwambie bungei Hao watoto wadogo wengine wanatuita mama, wengine wanatuita shangazi, wengine wanatuita baba, wengine wanatuita anko. Na wengine wanatuita shosho, kama mimi naitwa shosho. Nakuulizaje bungei? Kusema ukweli, watoto wetu wataenda kupiga duka ya mama yao. Watoto wetu wataenda kupiga duka ya, ma, ya baba yao. Haiwezekani. Nikuonyesha kuna pahali watu wanashirikiana, kuna crime imebangwa vizuri sana inaonekana. Sisi tume Now before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, may I take this golden chance to thank you so much for your great support to this channel. Because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached to where it is as of now. I want to appreciate the new subscribers who tune in and subscribe to our channel. I want to say thank you and be blessed. What I want you to do for me, ladies and gentlemen, consider to give this video a thumb of like. When you like this video, it will reach several people in the YouTube platform and it is a kind of job offer you are offering to our YouTube platform. Let's proceed with this discussion. Let me ask you this question. Opening a business is not a joke. But how do you start opening a business? Do you wake up very early in the morning and say, I've started a supermarket? Do you wake up very early in the morning and say, I've started 
a petrol station? No. Even this platform, to those who are having YouTube channels, TV station, they started with one subscribers. After that, so and so subscribers increases because they found that your platform is giving legitimate news or is broadcasting something making sense. And therefore, it made subscribers to increase. Therefore, to our parents or to our business people in the Republic of Kenya, I'm also a businessman, who are doing business, when you ask them how they started, it is a painful story. But to other politicians who grew in a wealthy life, who sometimes sabotaged their parents' property and managed to reach where they are. They don't have that feel, that feeling that someone who runs a business went through a lot. And there's no any other single day you will hear them talking or they strong their colleagues' business. So the pain in which those people who have lost the goods from their business administration is very, very distressful, sad, and Bungay together with his team must come out and tell the, the country truth of the matter. Because it was the police Commander and he knows very well. For, for example, the business people community of Nairobi have asked him a simple question. How watu walienda kupora maduka? Two good hours. Hakuna polisi kwa mejitokeza waseme stop this, stop that. Fanya hivi, let's arrest him or them. It means that this plan was pl plotted by some of the cartels in the government. Some people love themselves and they, they don't like businesses. Yes. Mwaisikia Karen kuna mandamano? Mwaisikia? Hakuta kuwa na mandamano? Unless it's happened. But this is wrong. Our people are just demonstrating peacefully. The Gen Z's, they were just demonstrating peacefully, demanding for their right. But because the government fear to be exposed, they are coming out and directing their goons to go and steal other people's businesses. Number one, the current situation in our country is that leaders are no longer trusted. They're no longer trusted and they have failed majority of Kenyans. And that is why the businesses, people from Nairobi are coming out and demanding trust, demanding justice from Bungay to tell them the truth. I, I don't support this at all, but it is very wrong because we have leaders who are just reluctant. They are happy when they see someone's business have been stormed, when they see someone's properties have been stolen, they enjoy. And that is why these people will keep on demonstrating other groups, watakuwa wanapanga wounds, Waende wapore mali ya, mali ya inchi. Please, lead us. This is wrong. These goons came from the city hall of Nairobi. And it's all went social media viral. So who are these people who should be asked first? The governor of Nairobi, Johnson Sakaja. Bungay, the DCI headquarters. They must be asked why were these goons 
coming out from the city hall, carrying Arungu, chasing people from CBD, stealing properties. Yet the government is silent. The government is quiet. Looking on that. Shame on those who has organized the, the, those goons. Shame on them. That is very wrong. It's a mannerless behavior. And you call yourself a leader. Why don't you just allow Kenyans to exercise their feeling? Let them demonstrate. Why are you getting fear when you see Gen Z's demonstrating? They're just trying to tell you to rectify your mistake. There's no time for pampering leaders in this country. You must wake up from your slumber. There's no time for putting short, enjoying the cool breeze with a slay queen at Mombasa, at the beaches. No. It is time for you to work to the people. It is time for you to work to the people. The same government is saying those who are demonstrating are goons. No, and yet you are the ones who are sending goons to go and destroy people's property. You've even had those people, the Nairobi businesses, community, directing their anger to Bungei on what took place in Nairobi CBD. This is very wrong. Let us stop this and focus with our main agenda in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, what can you say on this movement? I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching me. Thank you so much for your support to this channel.